Hi and welcome to the China Repair Studio. So today I thought I would fix this chipped broken jug. Now I was given this a couple of days ago by a client who I've done previous work for and her prized beloved jug uh, broke. She dropped it and as you can see here it's missing a piece. Now the piece, I'm not sure where the piece has gone, um, I think it must have just gone into lots of pieces so we don't have the piece to stick back on so what we're going to do is fill use another we're going to make a piece up using milliput but before i do if you haven't subscribed please subscribe please like and also please share right so what i'm going to get here use is use some milliput now this is the super fine white now milliput does come in various colors there is, I think, black and a blue-grey and a terracotta and I believe a yellow as well. Now, when you use the milliput, it comes in two parts, a blue part and a white part. Um, the blue tends to be more of a yellow colour. And what you need to do is mix 50-50, combine them both. So, you won't use too much. So, if you can take a bit... And I tend to put it into a sort of circular, into a circular shape because then it's easy to tell whether the other piece is the same size. You can com compare the circles if you like. Now, once you've opened it, if you can close it quickly because you don't want anything to dry out. And then the white packet. Now, again, if you can just roughly get the same size. And then we can compare. So this, so let's have a look. Whoops. So no, it's a bit too small. So a little bit small. Oops. So it's a bit more there. And so it's easier if you put it into circles. So they're around the same. Yeah, that's around the same size. So you want to squeeze them together and combine them. Now, I use Milliput. There are, I'm sure if you looked around, there are other companies which perhaps do something very similar. I do find Milliput very easy to use and it's widely available on Amazon and also, to be honest, in lots of art shops. So you combine that and then we're going to place it onto the jug. Now, this would take around 24 hours to harden. But I do like to leave it really for 48 hours and then once it's hardened and set or cured if you like it is then ready to be sanded and then once it's been sanded um, I will probably put a glaze on I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it I think I'm going to leave it as what they call a museum repair with a museum repair you actually fix the repair but you still can see where it has been broken so it's called a museum repair but i'll glaze it so it can actually be used now with milliput once it's been cured you can then once it's been sanded and you can actually put it into the dishwasher and you can use it on things such as jugs cups and plates but obviously you need it to be sanded you don't want any hard edges Right, so that's nicely combined. So what I need to do is look at here, look at where the chip is. And you want to make a rough shape. Now, if that's too much, take some away. You don't want to put too much product on, otherwise it's going to make for more work later on the sanding. And then you can just press into place. Again, if you think it's too much, you can take some away. Now you want to overlap slightly on the original because you want to sand it so it all blends in. So you can put it onto that and then just gently press it into the shape. Make sure you've got both sides done. And then if you like you could get just a small amount of water. I have some water in an old cup here. And just if you can just put it onto your finger and you can just sort of mould it to the cup slightly more or the plate or the jug, the item you have. 
There we go. So when you're happy with that, what I would then do is leave this, as I said before, for around 48 hours and then it's ready for sanding. So I think what I'm going to do on my next video is we're going to sand the jug and then we're going to glaze it. So it's still you can still then see the milliput, but it will actually be um, water, it will be water resistant and you'll be able to use it. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to fix a broken jug. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also please comment if you have any comments, uh, the comments down below. And if you want to get hold of some Milliput, I will put something in the description box so you can buy it from Amazon. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.